Hello guys, this is Joe speaking, welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode 31, and today we read your story, which is, well, the teaser is already out today, and we're going to show you a book called The Lion King. Now, The Lion King's been out in 1994, and in fears. And they were going to come up with a live action remake in, in some time next year. Now I'm going to read you a story called Lion King right now. This is published in 1994 by, um, and these trademarks, and my, my books in Denmark. Corporations in 1994. So here we go. The animals came from far and near across the dusty African plain. They came from pining um, paws and pawning hooves and flapping wings. Okay, that's cool enough. Each beast, um, from tiniest ant to the largest uh, elephant, excuse me, made its way to Pie Rock. For that, this was the home of the Lion King, and this was a uh, Special day in Pride Lands. Okay, next page. Today, Simba, the firstborn cub of King Mufasa and Queen Tarosa, will join the great circle of life. Okay, that's cool enough. The animals took their places at the bow of the King Mufasa. Okay. Dan Rafasa was the wise but ba boom. Showed up at the edge of Pride Rock and the held of up uh, the little cub for all, all to see. Okay, that's cool enough. A great cry rose before all of the animals. The elephants trumpet, the zebra when the birds sang for joy and the side of Simba. Okay. The future light came. But one animal did not uh, join the join himself from my scar, the king's jealous brother, stay in the den. Yeah, it's terrible, I know. Next page. Later, Scar was l just laughed when the king's ad advisor, Zazu, the hornbill, criticized him, and when then the evil lion popped in the bird into his mouth. Scar would, would have eaten Zazu if my foster had come along in just in time. Zazu wiped by his feathers off and scolded as the king's uh, brother. He would um, have been first in, in the line at Sema Ceremony. Scar screen I screen I was first in line until the first hairball was born. That hairball is my son, and your future king, my father is growled. Um, okay. Um, Scar, slink away. Don't turn your back on me, Scar. My father warned. Okay. Scar woke on back on his shoulder, his eyes narrowed. Perhaps you can sure turn your back on me. Okay. Simba grew quickly. One morning, Mufasa took his son to the top of the Pride Rocks and told him the circle of life never stops uh, turning. Okay. One day the sun will set up on um, when the time when the rollers of then rising with you as a king. Then everything the lion touches will be yours. Okay, that was cool enough. When, what about the Shirley place? Simple ask. My, my father declared, you must never go there. Until you get me older, you know. Suddenly, Zazu squawk. Uh, down squawk, hyenas in the pylons. My father fall. Zazu take Simba home. Oh, Dad, can I come? Simba whine. My father shook his mighty name. I'm flying six giant hyenas with no job for a cub. I maybe agree. I maybe agree. Next page. 
Slayer, Simba, asks his Uncle Scar about the Scout Shally place. An evil plan formed uh, in Scar's mind. Only the bravest lion is to go to the elephant's graveyard. Terrible, I know. Scar told him, even though it's foolish, should come. We'll go there go, just to prove his bravery. Uh, Scar was right. Stupid, I know. Simba couldn't wait to go to their elephant graveyard with, with his best friend. Nyla. Future girlfriend, you know. Um, uh, but how can they go with Zazu watching every move they made? Terrible. We cut, we got the ditch the doo doo. Uh, Simba whispered. Now we giggle and agreed. Soon the two friends found a way to escape their favorite babysitter. I may agree. May agree. Before long, the young lions have reached the dark, mysterious place behind the borders of the plylands. The giant bones poke out the ground. It's kind of scary now, whispered. Let's check it out, Simba said. I laugh in the laugh at face of danger. Ha ha ha. He he he. Can check out free mate, mean hyenas, sun's eye, Bonzi and Ed. Look, boy, a uh, keen feet for a meal. Since he snickered. Okay. Okay. The, um, the cubs ran, but soon found themselves corner. Um, Simba stepped bravely in front of Nala and tried to war. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Terrible. Next page. The honey is laughing, Gerd. Simba opened his mouth to try again. This time, the elephant bones rather than thunderous war. The honey is was confused, and so is Simba, until my father sprang into view. The mighty lion chased away the hyenas. Zazu has seen the cubs into trouble and flown for help. My father took Zazu uh, to take Nala home, and then he scowled Simba for that, but disobeying him. You, yeah, agreed. Oh, Dad, I was trying to be brave like you, uh, Simba explained. My father sighed. Being brave doesn't mean you uh, go look for trouble with Simba. A good king is wise and well, as well as brave. Simba suddenly felt that tilt very small. We'll always be together, right, Dad? My father woke up in the spray sky and said, The king, the great kings of the past uh, looked down on us from they, those scars. Star, sorry. Uh, so whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there for you to guide you. So do I. Yeah. I know. Where Scar met with the hungry hyenas, I privately gave those cups to you. He complained. They weren't exactly alone. Sighting a wine. But um, Scar had another plan that allowed him to become king. Makes no sense, but whatever. Stick with me and you'll never go hungry again. He promised. Makes no sense. Again. Whatever. Now he is dancing cheers. Boo. Next morning, Scar took Sim to the bottom of the rocky cannon. Well, now wait here. He ordered. Your father has a big surprise for you. <sighs> nope. Nope, no, Henry, he doesn't. Will I like the surprise? Simply asked. Scar smiled sm shyly. Oh, it's, it's to die for, he said. Makes no sense. This is the first time I said it. Makes no sense, but whatever. As he walked away. Then he gave a signal to the hyenas waiting in the can can ridge. 
Lions can know what to do. They chase a huge herd of wild beasts down the cannon. Um, Simba feel the, the earth shakes. He heard the cow chowing a thousand of hooves. Uh, he, then he saw the wildest beast hurrying straight from him. Simba managed to climb a dead tree and clinch to the branch. Help, he shouted. It help was uh, on his way with Scar and helped to find his brother, Mufasa. Um, Simba's trap in the stampede. Start car cried. It makes no sense, but whatever. Just as Scar's plan, Mufasa rushed to Simba's rescue. He left his son as a safety, but then he fell under the rushing tides of hooves. Dad, Simba shouted. He couldn't see anything from through the huge dust cloud. Mufasa tried to pull himself into the step rocks from above. Scar watched his brother struggle. Help me, brother, help me. Mufasa plead. Uh, Star reached from Mufasa's paws. He pulled his brothers close and whispered, No! No! No more! Long live the king. Do you have to do this? Okay? Makes no perfect sense, but whatever. Then Scar let go and watch Mufasa tumble down in the step grove. This doesn't make any sense, but whatever. When the stampede was over, Simba was found him, father lying leftless in the dust. No! Simba wailed. Oh, man. Scar came to the sobbing cubs beside. What he have done, he cause there was wild beasts everywhere. He tried to save me. And he was an accident, Simba was saying in the rush. I didn't mean to. Um, of course not, but if it wasn't for you, he'd still be alive. What do you think mother think? Scar demanded. Simba looked struggled. What should I do? Run away, Scar advised. Run away and never come back. Stupid! Scar watched Simba run. Then he sent two hyenas after him. Now he has chased Simba to the border of the uh, Pride Lands. The cub dive into the ticket of... Uh, Forns and edges in a great dozen the hyenas looking at sharp forns. Then the desert cub, the cub once last day out there. Okay. Shia declared. Um, Simba ran until he could r run no more. The first he cub collapsed in the, st in the sand. The vultures circled him hungrily. But Timon, the meerkat, and his fat friend Pumba, the warhog, chased away the vultures. Simba woke him up, up in the jungle home. Okay. Where are you from? Timon asked. Simba sighed. It doesn't matter. I can't go back. What do you do, kid? Pumba worried, wondered. Something terrible, Simba replied. Uh, Timon struggled. Who cares? You gotta put the past behind you. Hakuna Matata. What? Um, Simba asked. Hakuna Matata. Timon repeated. It means no worries. Uh, there's a model we live by, and here's what we live on. T -t -t Timon showed Sim Simba, Sim Simba a wiggle inset. Okay. Simba watched Pumba eat a grub. Slimy but satisfying, the warhawk said, but a burp. Okay. Simba followed, but he ate a big grub. Then the cub smiled and said, Akuna Matata. Cool enough. 
in the months that follow, Simba ate many, many grubs and grew into a full-size lion, okay? Most of the time, he was happy with his friends, Timon and Pumbaa, yet he missed his mother and often without his father. One night, and Bezve gaps up with his stars, Simba remembered what his father had told him. He wandered into the great kings of the past, where really he were uh, looking down for the stars. Simba felt very alone. The next day, Simba heard Timon scream. Okay. Uh, the long lion races his rescue, Hungry Lioness, was about to pounce on Pumba, who was struck uh, under the log. Okay. Timon bravely was trying to protect him. Simba was given a mighty ward and leaped back the lioness. Okay. Uh, next page. Moses began to fight. Uh, Simba reorganized his old friend, Nala. He gasped in disbelief. The lioness uh, looked uh, deep in his eyes and handsome young lion whispered, Simba? Scar told you told us you were dead. Yeah. Nala told Simba Bari how terrible things uh, uh, that now were now um the King Scar and his hyenas were in the Pride Lands. Uh there was no food or war and many of animals had fled. But you can't come back and become king. There's anything we, we do right again, Nala said. I'm no king, Simba said angry. Next page. But that night, Mafukuku, Rafaki, the balloon, baboons, my dad, uh, came to Simba and promised uh, to bring him and his father. When Simba looked up in the stairs, star, sorry, as he heard a famous, famous voice, Simba, his father asked, Have you forgotten me? Simba gasped, no, I, I could, how could I, you have forgotten who you are, and so have you forgotten me, the ghostly voice continued, look, ma look inside yourself, Simba, you are more than what you, you have become, you must, you have taken your place in the circle of life, Simba must knew his father was right, his friends returned to his, with him in the Pride Lands, okay, Back in Pride Rock, King Scar was angry uh, at the, with Cerebra for not finding food. Suddenly Scar heard Great War, okay, but he couldn't believe his eyes. Mufasa, it, it can't be, you're dead. Cerebra, Cerebra realized her son, Simba, she said softly. I'll come to my place as King Simba Ward. Um, uh, the scar won't, won't back down so easily. Okay. Similarly, but scar, but the villains, um, slip uh, away. Instead, the hyenas rush at Simba. Pride Rock echoed their, with their high in their laughter as the hyenas forced Simba to the edge of the cliff. Scar woke up to the exhausted young lion. Your daddy isn't here to save you this time. To Scar ta taunted. They pushed Simba off the cliff. Simba's paws scrambled into the hold of a steep slope. This looked quite familiar. Scar smiling. Oh yes, I remember. It's just the way your father looked like before I killed him. Next page. At last, Simba uh, knew the truth. With a mighty war, he leaped at Scar. Meanwhile, Timon and Pumba and the lioness has chased the hyenas at Pride Rock. When Simba sent Scar flying over the cliff, uh, the villain landed in the mob of hungry hyenas. He he he. They cackled hungry. Finally, they have met me feel for the king. Or a king fit for a meal. Thank God.
Simba thank his friends, Bing Walker to top of Fire Rock, the his warrior go the through the Firelands, the Frightful King has taken his throne. The, the friends were soon lush and green again. The animals returned, and the hunting uh, was good once more. Simba knew uh, that was a king must uh, have been a queen, so of course he chose the beautiful Nyla. Oh, man. Before long, the animals again came from the far and near across the dusty African plain. This time they came to great, uh, the firstborn cub of King Simba and Queen Nala. Uh, okay. Wise Oak, Fafaku, something like that, stood at the edge of Pride Rock and held up uh, the cub of all sea. The elephants trumpeted and zebras whine with joy of the future light king. Join the great circle of life. The end. So that was the Lion King. What do you think about this book? It was amazing. So far this book is trying to be a big success. Anyways, double up some bedtime stories. Episode 31. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one. Which is going to be um, bedtime stories episode 32. But until next time. This is Jefferson. Goodbye. Peace out, baby. We get more bedtime stories because we're soon. But to the end of Jeff, I'm saying out. See ya.